Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got an awesome project to share with you this week. I am building a giant entertainment center for my in-laws using a bit of an Ikea hack. This is a huge project. This wall is over 20 feet long, so I'm going to break this project down into two videos. First, I'll take you through the space that we're working with, and then I'm going to walk you through how I plan to tackle this project from start to finish using the design I made on SketchUp. Okay, so here is the entertainment center on SketchUp. I love using this program to design my projects in advance. For reference, this wall is 20 feet 8 inches long, the depth of the entertainment center is 20 inches, and the height of the tallest vertical units are 8 feet with a 5.5 inch base. The first thing that I'm going to do is build a base for the entire entertainment center to sit on. I'm building the base in three different sections using 2x6s. Then I'm going to put the IKEA BESTA units together for the center of the entertainment center. I'll link the IKEA unit and other tools and products that I used for this project in the description below. After that, I will build the two eight foot vertical units out of three quarter inch plywood. Next, I will build the two benches. These I'm making out of two by twelves and three quarter inch plywood for the bottom. I will then build spacers on either side of the vertical units to give them some bulk. And last, I will build a countertop for the center Vesta unit using two two by twelves. So that is all for part one. The rest of the project I'll be finishing up in part two. Before we get started, I want to quick thank the sponsor of today's video, Loctite. Loctite has so many great products, whether you're working on a small craft or a large professional build. They have products for all types of projects, so be sure to keep them in mind when it comes time for your next project. For this project, I'm going to be using two of their construction adhesives, the Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear and the Loctite PL Premium Max. I'll talk more about these adhesives later in the video. Let's jump into the project. The first thing I did was put the BESTA unit together from IKEA. I bought this three space unit and then another single BESTA unit to fit underneath the entire TV. They didn't have all the same color units in stock, but that's okay because I'm going to prime and paint the units anyways. I love these BESTA units because you can customize them however you like. You can choose between doors and drawers. They have a lot of different options for the style for the face of the doors and drawers, which is pretty cool. I did buy legs for the BESTA units, but ended up not using them and building a base for the units instead. I also bought some taller vertical units from Ikea but they weren't deep enough so I ended up returning those and then building my own vertical units out of plywood. Next, I'm working on installing the base for the entertainment center. I wanted the base to be the same height as the base trim that they currently have so that I can reuse it. The total depth of the entertainment center is 20 inches, so I notched out the trim at 20 inches with my multi-tool and carefully removed it from the wall. The best unit is only about 16 inches deep, but I pulled it away from the wall at 20 inches to fit all of their TV equipment. Now that the base trim is removed, I can install the 2x6 base. For the left and right base, I ripped the 2x6s down to 4 and 3 quarters so that the 5.5 inch base trim covers the entire base as well as the bottom 3 quarter inch panel of my vertical unit and bench units. For the center unit, I kept the 2x6s at their 5.5 inch height so that the base trim doesn't interfere with the door of the best units. I secured the base pieces together using three and a half inch construction screws.
after the bases were built, I made sure that they were level and then secured them to studs in the wall using the same three and a half inch construction screws. Next, I'm prepping some lumber for the vertical units, countertop, and benches. My husband helped me plane the 2x12 boards, and we also ripped those boards down to 10 inches. I will be using these for the countertop as well as the two benches. I cut the three quarter inch plywood down to size for my vertical units and then sanded them down so they're nice and smooth. The vertical units are eight feet tall, 24 inches wide and 19 and a quarter inches deep. To assemble the vertical units, I'm using one and a quarter inch construction screws as well as pocket screws and the Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear Construction Adhesive. I'm using this adhesive for decorative applications and anywhere I need instant grab as well as clarity so I don't have to worry about glue run out. This formula works in all conditions, it's weatherproof and water resistant and can be applied on a wide variety of surfaces, both porous and non-porous and damp surfaces as well. My favorite part is that it applies and cures crystal clear, leaving a flawless finish. I drilled some pocket holes in the top and bottom plywood piece and then secured all the pieces together with the Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear and screws. On the side panels, I didn't have to worry about hiding the screws because they will be covered up by the spacers. I made sure to set my vertical side pieces back three quarters of an inch to make room for the three quarter inch face trim that I'll be adding later in the project. I used a dolly to bring each vertical unit into the house and set them in place on the base. Mm -hmm. 
I had to customize the Besta unit a little bit in order to fit their TV equipment. So I took part of the back panel off and re-secured a new back panel piece. Like I mentioned before, the Besta unit is only about 16 inches deep, but I pulled it away from the wall to 20 inches. So I had to get a little creative in order to fit all of this TV equipment. This unit was too big to fit inside of this cubby. So I had to cut out the back side so that I could leave room for this unit and for all of these cords. This will have a glass door, but the TV equipment will be in this whole bottom half so you won't even see that gap in the back and then for this unit these will be drawers so you won't see this gap um, but then you could still take out the drawer and access this gap because that's where all of the outlets and other um, electrical equipment is so when this unit is in place you can still access all of that electrical stuff in the back Next, I'm going to assemble the benches. I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood for the bottom of each bench and 2 by 12 lumber for the sides, back, and top of the bench. I wanted to make sure these benches were nice and sturdy, so that's why I used the 2 by lumber. I drilled some pocket holes first, sanded the lumber down, and then used pocket screws and Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear to assemble the pieces together. I did another quick sand and rounded up all the corners a bit before bringing the benches into the house.
Now that all of the large units are in place, I'm going to install some blocking on the left and right side of my vertical units to give them some more bulk. I used some scrap lumber for the blocking and then used Loctite PL Premium Max and a few brad nails to secure all of the blocking. Loctite PL Premium Max is ideal for most interior or exterior projects where long-term strength and durability are a must. It works reliably on wood, laminate, drywall, concrete, brick, etc. It's also waterproof and can be applied to wet and frozen surfaces, both cold and hot temperatures for landscaping and deck projects. I made sure that the unit was nice and level and then used a countersink bit and some screws to secure the unit down into the base and into studs in the wall so that there's no possibility of it tipping over. I plan to have an extension cord running up the blocking so that I can add lighting to the top of the vertical units. So I took a hole saw bit and drilled some holes in the blocking for my extension cord. After the blocking was secure, I installed a sheet of half inch plywood to hide all of the blocking. I used the Loctite PL Premium Max and some brad nails to secure the plywood. Next, I'm working on installing the bench. I had to use my multi-tool to notch a hole for my outlet. I used an outlet extender to extend the outlet through the back of the bench. I installed blocking on the vertical unit on the right side as well. I had to notch out a hole for another outlet. I definitely recommend seeking advice from a licensed electrician if you don't feel comfortable moving electrical by yourself.
Next, I'm going through and making sure every unit is secured down. I drilled some holes with my countersink bit and then secured the benches and the Besti unit down into the base with one and a quarter inch screws. I also secured the two Besti units together with the screws provided. Since I pulled the Besta unit away from the wall, I needed to install a little bit of blocking to the back side. We decided to add some beadboard paneling to the back of the vertical units, so I cut the beadboard panel down to size and then secured it to the back panel using the Loctite Power Grab Ultimate Crystal Clear and a few brad nails. Last but not least, I'm working on putting the countertop together. I already planed these 2x12 boards down and ripped them down to 10 inches. So now I'm drilling some pocket holes and then I'll be securing these boards together with Loctite PL Premium Max clamps and 2 inch pocket screws. Make sure to wipe up any runout from the adhesive right away. Loctite PL Premium Max fully cures in 24 hours and is fast grab with a 20 minute repositioning time. Be sure to follow the instructions and safety guidelines as directed on the packaging. So that is it for part one. I know that was a lot of information, but I hope you found this video helpful. You can take this design concept, customize it anyway, and apply it to your own home. In the next video, I'll be installing trim, shelves, painting, and going through all the final touches, as well as a breakdown of the cost. So stay tuned for that video, and thank you guys so much for watching.